Hello, and welcome to Mega Man X Part 8. Today we're going to be taking on Launch Octopus and possibly beating the game. So, I decided to probably do like a longer recording, or if not, it's going to be long enough so where the next part is just on boss. So, hopefully we should get done with most of the relative content left in this game. But as you can see, we still have to fight this thing and we have to fight it down there. But, again, the same thing applies. Not that hard. And it's dead, so now we can progress. I don't think there is anything that's going to work. We can get out of here. And only to the boss, which, like I said, is not my favorite whatsoever, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so as you can see, you'll shoot those missiles, and you'll also shoot the fish, which makes it pretty hard to hit them with the weakness half the time because the projectiles block it. So I'm sort of just face tanking the damage so I can get hits in. You can also do that, which will suck you in, but you can dash away from that, but if he does get you or catch you off guard, he will suck your energy and he will gain more health. In turn. So, pro tip, don't get hit by that. Okay, this fight is going pretty well. And we should be done with it now. And that concludes all eight matters. Case we have now unlocked the signal stages. Well, before we do that, I do want to pick up the final heart tank, I believe, and sneak moon. So, as you can see, here is zero. Final. Found Sigma's Fortress. Let's go in and out. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. And thus, the Sigma stages are unlocked, and we get a new stage select theme. But again, we're going to get the final heart tank in Sink Mode Club. So, I'll probably cut to when I get to it. So, we are back, and you're at the heart tank, which just requires you to basically break, break these blocks, although I almost died there, but that is the final heart tank in the game, and as you can see, our health bar is pretty big, but we will be getting a sub tank in uh, Spark Mantle stage, so let's, let's go do that. So basically, I will cut to it, but you want to go as far down as possible, and you basically, you basically can't miss it. So I'll be right back. So, anyways, we're back at the sub tank, and it's right here. It'd be pretty annoying to get actually. There we go, the final sub tank in the game, and I'm going to go fill these in the armored armadillo stage. So again, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and all of my sub tanks are filled, we have basically everything, and it's time to do Sigma Stage 1. This theme is very iconic, like, it's probably one of the best songs in the SNES, not gonna lie. Let's put up.
I'll go in first and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. So this theme, like I said, is pretty iconic. It's a very, very triumphant theme. It shows how far we've come. But anyway, let's get right into it. So, again, storming this weapon destroys these things. And for good measure, these guys are gonna come in to try to stop us from making our jumps properly. But, we should be fine, as long as we're careful, that was not careful, but, and I died, okay. So anyway, yeah, that, that, that area can be pretty tricky, just remember to, don't jump into the enemies like I do, or jump on the platform is moving away, and you should be fine. The rest of the stage is pretty simple, so don't get too intimidated. Uh, okay, that was sort of risky. Oh god, he tried to knock me off, and he did. That is really annoying. Not well, uh, by the way, it's very, very misleading. Thankfully, that has a hitbox above it. Oh, god, please dash dump. Okay, thank you. And we made it. Okay. Okay, thankfully, thankfully the dash jump responded last minute, but like I said, sometimes I feel like this game has unresponsive dash jumps, so I don't know if it's just me or not. Okay, so we are stealing Sigma's Fortress. Uh, there isn't too much to the stage, although I do think we have to refight some of these bosses, although there's Vile kind of handed our ass to us in the first parts, but we'll see moving on. Stay back, X. I'll take him on. Okay. As you can see, you can hear them fighting in the other room. So let's go check it out. And it looks like he cut Zero, which kind of sucks. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is way... Is, my armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. Wow. Rude. So basically, we just want to shoot a bunch, just like the opening. In a way, he's kind of cheating. I mean, in that in that armor, he's not taking any damage. If I'm assuming it works like the average right armor. Us, just like in the beginning. And he glows. But Zero breaks free. Maybe. But I'm not through yet. And thus, Zero self destructs. To stop Bile. What a worthless gesture. I can't be defeated so easily. So, X, it's just you and me now. But all of a sudden, X gets motivated, and Vile is shook. What the? 
Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. Alright, let's change that. So now we can actually damage Vio, and he's gonna be jumping around and shooting a lot and running around the screen. A pretty fun boss overall, although not that challenging. And he paralyzed me. So, but yeah, there isn't much to this fight. It's just a pretty simple one. But again, it's fun. And there we go. Vile is defeated. And thus, we go to see our friend Zero. X. I've taken too much damage. Auto repair systems can't handle it. My power is fading fast. Your power is greater than I thought. Maybe you can destroy Sigma. And thus, Zero fades away. And the music continues. If I didn't have the Buster upgrade, he would have given us the Z Buster. But luckily, luckily I already had the um, arm cannon, so upgrade, so that's pretty nice. Overall, that kind of sucks. I mean, Zero was the goat, he did save us. And this, this area I deleted, it. um, it's just a bunch of tr tricky platforming because of these things. Honestly, I would just suggest using your invincible frames to your advantage here. And I'm going to use something I really do not care at this point, because we're almost through with this. And we're going to refill them anyway, so... Might as well. And we've made it to the next room. In which we fight Boomer, who is weak to the... Missiles that we get from Mach Octopus. Oh yeah. Since I charged it and then I selected the weapon, it shoots fish like the boss does, obviously. But I honestly don't know why it shoots fish when this is a torpedo. But I, I digress. Anyways, this should be pretty easy. You don't really have to do much. You just have the moment on and bam. And now we can continue. So, we're going to have to fight all the bosses again. It's kind of like a boss rush. And it's basically a staple in the Magnet series, for better or for worse. But, in, in this game, I don't really mind it much. I mean, it's spread out evenly. You don't have to fight them all at once. And look how many in the screen. It's insane. Anyways, we are now in the next room and we will dash our way to victory. And here comes a pretty annoying boss. I, I wouldn't say hard, but just annoying. It'll basically go down and then it'll show its weak point. The problem with the boss is that it's very easy to like miss and then not be able to do any damage, but luckily we are getting pretty lucky so far. But as you can see there, I, I messed up. Honestly, I would just ignore the spiders. As you can see, they're not much of a threat at this point. But he can also do that, which is annoying. Okay, I'm 
missed that one. I should probably just stay in the middle as you can see he's going. And I and I messed up there again. We should be, we should be fine though. After this, I'll make a cut and refill my sub tanks. I'm pretty sure this is the end of the stage. And it's done. Okay, and the first stage is over, and I again will be making a cut so we can refill our sub tanks, and I'll be right back. And we are back, I refilled all my sub tanks, and now we're going to take on Sigma Stage 2. This team is also really good, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's sort of underrated in comparison to the first team, but overall, I think most people agree it's really good. So here we want to make dash jumps, nothing too crazy. And there are some bats which are pretty good for warming energy if you need that at this point, but I do not. And overall we should be fine. Uh, I actually encountered a glitch on this stage, I posted it on one of my other videos, where the snow permanently stayed after defeating Chill Family. I don't know if I can replicate it here, but it would be pretty funny if, uh, if I did. I'm gonna see if I can try to replicate it, because I know what he did before. I'm pretty sure he like tried to jump up and cause it snowstorm or whatever it was. Let's see. Sadly, we cannot replicate it, but, uh, but, again, I posted it to YouTube, if anyone wants to check it out, but that is show pain went down, obviously, it's still a joke, I let him hit me, though, so, funny, but here we get a ride armor, although it's not really very important, although we can jump over the spikes, we so choose, but, again, nothing too major in this stage. Although that guy will like likely spam if you let him do so. I probably should have went to the right, but I it really could make less of a difference, honestly. But here we are going to fight Storm Eagle with his pretty darn jewel. But again, basically the same strategy as before, except you can use the same chameleon's weapon to do the more damage than with the average charge shot. As you can see now, I'm like, not dashing into him, uh, then I just instantly jinx it, okay. But, yeah, we should be done with this fight, like, right now. Yep. Uh, hopefully you don't fall, I don't think you will though. That bat 
could help us farm energy, so I'm gonna see if that works. And that should be enough. Yeah, that should be enough. That platforming is a knot, so. boss anyway. I don't know if this is the eye thing that has a bunch of spikes on the ground, but we're about to find out. And indeed it is. That's kind of frightening. Uh, I won't, I will admit. But oh well. We should be good. So good. And get that orb thing. And again. Get the red orb. Did it just go off? Oh, okay, I'm stupid. Get that again. And I'm going to use a sub tank because I think it can do 4 damage to me. I do not know, but again, just be on the safe side. Okay, now we definitely need to do something. Kind of relying on these a bit too much, but might as well. I mean, we did get a bonus. There we go. And the boss is over. So, I'm going to refill the sub tanks and basically repeat the process. Uh, so. I'll see you when I make the cut. We are back, and now we are going to take on Sigma Stage 3. Okay. So we still have some, some bosses to face off against. And uh, I forget which one that we can fight. I think it's Spark Mantle. I can't really comment on this game. I think it's pretty eerie. Uh, but overall, it's, I like the other two better. But this, 
doesn't mean this thing is bad by any means. again. Anyways, again, basically the same strategy we used before. And he's done. So yeah, overall these bosses are a lot easier than before, even though they were pretty easy already. Mainly considering you have all the weaknesses, so you should be more than prepared for this. And if you need it, I guess you can... this and yeah so on to the next one I think this is spark mandrel I'm almost positive this is spark mandrel yep so again same strategy Freedom. I'm gonna wait a bit after he gets unfrozen, so even if you hit him, he'll still be frozen. Because if you hit him and don't wait, then he'll actually just take damage instead of being frozen. But overall, it doesn't really matter. Still very easy. positive that we are about to fight him on top of this, so... Again, same strategies from before. Don't know that much to say here. I like how he has that gesture with his tentacles and it's basically implying you're going down. Add some personality to the Mavericks. And we already took down half of his health, so that's a good sign. And then he starts spamming the move that makes him basically not middle so after the fact. But Again, we should be fine. No real biggie. And he's done. And there shouldn't be too many bosses left. I think we have... What? Only, yeah, only flame man. So, obviously, equip the storm tornado and profit basically. And he's dead. 
So overall, this wasn't really that bad at all. I mean, boss rushes are never usually that bad because they're they're almost always simple. The boss strategies are very easy, and it's really just there to drag on the play time in the game. But I digress. Anyways, this boss is sort of intimidating. I I I don't really have problems with this guy. He doesn't like instant death crush you or anything. But nonetheless, he will stun you as you can see. But I really could care less about that, honestly. But also shoot electricity based on where you are, but again, I, I really don't care about that. But yeah, he doesn't instantly crush you with the jaws, which Makes him like 10 times less threatening. If he could instant kill you, that would be so annoying. But, luckily he can't. But I am going to use a sub tank just in case so I don't die. Because dying here would be pretty annoying. Okay. We're playing this pretty smart. He's going to shoot the electricity, which gives us some bleeding room. Just one pellet. There we go. And now, this is the end of like the game, so this is gonna be pretty, pretty interesting. I don't have to refill sub tanks. Well, actually, no, I lied. I'm going to refill this one sub tank, and then we will be doing the final state of the game. We'll be right back. So we are back with the final stage of the game, Sigma Stage 4. Okay. So, the final boss is pretty interesting. He has basically, there are basically three fights to this fight. Three fights to this fight. Three parts to this fight, but Overall, I don't think it's too bad, although, again, I would refill my sub tanks. Welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I would not rob my pet of that pleasure. He knows how to deal with betrayers. Should you live, I will be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, X. Okay, Sigma. So we're gonna fight this dog, uh, and he instantly jumps, which is not a good sign. Although I do, he is weak to the ice, not too hard of a boss, honestly. Yep. And he's done. Dang, X really just killed the dog like that, though. But oh well. Excellent job, X. I see why Zero counted on you. You are almost as good as a hunter as I was. But this time your destruction has arrived. You shall regret ever having to fight me. Okay. And then he pulls out the fucking lightsaber. That's that's a move. Anyways, the, he's weak to Sparkman with weapon. He will basically do that, but as you can see, you can dodge it pretty simply. And you can get two shots in. Okay. There we go. Again, pretty simple. You will block as usual, but again, just, just get your hits in when you can. Okay, and there we go. Sigma's first form is now complete. And 
now we are just going to have to fight the final form, and this is the end of Mega Man X, guys. It's been a journey. So, basically, his weakness is Rolling Shield. Uh, hope he had that filled up, basically. Um, his hands will be extremely hard to get at, and he'll shoot fire and lightning from the middle part, as you can see there. Personally, I would just wait until the claws get down, because then they give you an opportunity to jump on them, which is really nice, uh, considering that's kind of how you need to hit the boss. Although, as you can see, he does a shit ton of damage. would come up now. Thank you. This is going to be a pretty slow fight. Okay. That is pretty nice. Okay, we're going to have to get the sub tank here. Okay, this is getting pretty stressful. Because he loves to do high damage moves. It is insane. I might have to play Brisky. I didn't want to have to, but we might have to play Brisky. closer. And thankfully the hand RNG is being really nice to me now. I don't know why. Okay, we dodged that. The fire. The fire. That is good. That means we don't have to dodge nearly as well. Although, there comes the electricity. But we do get some good RNG with the hand. And the hand comes back again will really help us. I kind of want to heal here. Yeah, we're going to need to heal here. This fight can be pretty tough because, as you can see, he just does a lot of damage overall. And that uh, lightning can be pretty hard to avoid. But overall, I think we should be fine. As long as I don't overextend here. Okay, he's shooting the fire again, not the greatest sign, and he shoots the electricity, and he shoots it again, which is not, okay, now he's just spamming it, and I'm going to have to heal, this is very close, okay, things can take a turn for the worst here. really hoping we don't lose here. It would really suck to lose here. Okay. Okay. And we did it! Let's go, guys. So, Sigma is defeated. Very close fight. And now we can just talk about the ending. No. It's not possible. I'm a Reploid. I can't be destroyed by you. YX, why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age. Okay then. And the credits end with X staring off into the distance. So, I might as well take this little bit of time to basically elaborate my thoughts on this game. I think it was pretty darn innovative for its time, and it has really good music, it has a decent story, and the upgrades 
were very well hidden. I I liked the progression system, and the weapons were fun to use. So overall, I think this was a pretty good game, and that I would recommend it to anyone who wants to get into a SNES platformer or platformer in general. The war has ended for now, and peace has been restored. But those who sacrificed themselves for the victory will never return. Exhausted, X gazes at the destruction he helped cause and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Standing on the cliff, the answers seem to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will we keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on his hand knows for sure. So overall, this basically gives the gist that X isn't really one for fighting, but he does hate injustice, so... Next, next up, we're probably going to be starting X2, so look forward to that, viewers. And anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, and possibly subscribe, and I'll see you next time.